to the Premier League. Some of what you need to know about Arsenal. This is the home of Arsenal. They're also referred to as the Gunners, hence the rather large piece of armoury on the badge. But it's also a good choice if you have an affinity with France, as there's been a strong Gallic flavour here in recent years. Famous fans, try Mick Jagger, Piers Morgan and Spike Lee. And author Nick Hornby, who wrote Fever Pitch about his life as a fan. Though when it was made into a rom-com here in the States, Arsenal became the Boston Red Sox, and Nick became Jimmy Fallon. Bright colours, at least. Catch every Premier League game, including Arsenal, live on NBC and the NBC Sports Network. It's Sunday morning. You go to the place where everybody knows your game. You walk in. about watching the Barclays Premier League in the United States because of the time difference. You can come out at lunchtime and you've got the whole day to either celebrate or commiserate, depending on your team's results. We are back here at the Football Factory in Legends Bar in the heart of New York City. This is your Premier League Club Guide, presented by WorldSoccerShop.com. We're going to talk now about two of the biggest Premier League clubs who have a connection as well, Arsenal and Tottenham. But first, the Gunners, Arsenal. A couple of impressive records they've got, Kyle. Absolutely amazing. 88 seasons in the top flight but for me a little more impressive 17 straight seasons in the top four and you also think back to some of the teams they've had one of the best teams arguably in Premier League and English soccer history the Invincibles they went on that 49 game a record breaking 49 game unbeaten streak so there's so much history and prestige with this club they also have as their manager Arsene Wenger the longest serving boss in the Premier League almost 17 years in charge he's been now with Mr. Wenger, you have to take a few things into consideration. First of all, his attire. It must be an old school clock tailor. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> really hoping that by the time the British winter arrives, he's uh, managed to sort out that coat. Actually, if they're a massive club, can they not get someone to come in and zip his coat up for him <laughs> like he's going to school on the bus? <laughs> the other thing about Arsene Wenger you need to know is often when there's a tackle by one of his players, he doesn't tend to see it. He's very convenient that he doesn't see those things, doesn't see a lot of the tackles, a little bit suspect there. And then with the big coat, maybe uh, he's hiding all the transfer money he has and spent since Sylvain Wiltord back in 2000. <laughs> Good point. One of the biggest days in the calendar for Arsenal is the North London derby when they play their arch rivals Tottenham. It's one of the first games that all the supporters look for when the fixture schedule comes out. That is a huge game, isn't it? It's huge, and one of the reasons you love it, obviously it's a, a derbies are massive, but also on display at some of the best soccer in the Premier League. A lot of talent, and the gap's been closed. Arsenal's dominated it over the years, but Tottenham have closed the gap. So, Tottenham, we thought it would happen. It hasn't.